Seeing no further speakers, uh, leader of the third party will close the debate and move the motion, um, move uh, the question. Thank you, Honourable Speaker, and thank you for the very thoughtful remarks from the Minister of Energy Mines, Petroleum Resources, the Minister of Jobs, Trade and, and Technology, the member from Kootenay East and the member from uh, Vancouver, Langara. Um, Honourable Speaker, I heard a very compelling story from the Minister of Energy Mines and Petroleum Resources which brought back memories to me. My grandfather, my deed, he could not speak about these stories to me. I never heard them directly from him. I heard them through party, largely through his son and other, his, his, his son and my mother. PTSD, something that we are so aware of today, is something that was not in the common discussion and common dialogue back when my grandfather and my grandmother moved and immigrated to, uh, to Canada, when what they experienced was left behind the physical experience. Those memories never left. And they struggled for many, many years with PTSD as a direct consequences of what they lived through. I heard the member from Kootenay East say the following words, admit it, learn from it, and don't repeat it. And I think those words are so very important that we do reflect upon these horrific events of the past and we learn from that. And we don't deny they exist, but we, never, we agree to never repeat it. I too was inspired by the Minister of Jobs, Trade and Technology on November the 17th, 2014, when I sat on the opposite side and heard him introduce a bill at the time to follow along these lines to create the fourth Saturday in November as Holiday Moore Memorial Day. I was quite inspired by that, and it was ultimately what pushed me to introduce this in 2017 and again now, to ensure that, that this is not forgotten, that we do move forward with the passing of the legislation. And finally, I appreciate the comments from the member from Langara, and I also understand and have heard the support from the Leader of the Opposition as well. It's interesting to know that he served on National Youth Advisory Committees in 1985 with members of the Ukrainian community from Winnipeg, Manitoba. That is where a large component of my family live today, and I do wonder whether at some point their paths cross with the member from Vancouver, Langara's paths. Honourable Speaker, I look forward to the committee stage, and I thank the members for all of their comments, and with that, I move second reading of Bill M225.